Hi everyone, it's Janine and welcome to Yoga at Work, yoga sequences that you can do while you're at your job. I had a request to make a video for hairstylists, so here it is. I have five asanas for you targeting the shoulders to stretch and strengthen those muscles that you need for hairstyling. Number one. We'll do the Gomukhasana top arm, which means inhale, stretch your arms overhead. You're going to take your left hand, left hand, right elbow. Draw your right elbow up towards your ear. That may be hard or easy for you. And then from here, inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, pull your low ribs back behind you. There's a tendency to try to arch your mid-back to get your elbow back, and instead you want to do it from the arm, not from the back. And then when you're pushing down with your left hand, you're reaching up through your right elbow, guiding it back in line with your ear as best you can, keeping your head straight on straight. So you're looking straight ahead. There's also a tendency to drop the head. So notice that. You're going to hold this between 30 and 60 seconds and then you're going to go to the other side using the opposite arm, so this is the right hand, to guide the left elbow back. You could also do this at the wall, but probably you might have to do that at home. I don't know that you have a wall at work that you could do that, putting your elbow on the wall. And then releasing. Number two, we'll do the Gomukhasana arms, the lower part of the arm. So, in pieces, start by bringing your hands to together behind you into this reverse prayer, upside down prayer. So, fingers pointing down. And then start to swing your elbows in towards each other. From here, find your right hand, grab your left wrist, and keeping your shoulders in line, especially this left one, slide your left wrist over to the right and start feeling the stretch across the front of your left shoulder, your left pectoral muscles. Again, notice what not to do. You don't want to arch the mid-back. Keep your spine nice and neutral. And then you're going to keep going. So you could take your right hand to your left elbow, or whatever you can grab, and start guiding that left elbow in towards the middle of your spine as you walk your left hand up your back, like so. And this depends on how you're built, how you're going to look. You're looking for more flexibility. And you're going to hold between 30 and 60 seconds before going to the other side. So the other side, you would start again with your hands together, palm, fingers face down. On this one, though, you have the option to spin your fingers upward into a full reverse prayer, and just moving your palms towards each other, whatever they'll do. Swing the elbows back behind you, and then your left hand is going to grab your right wrist. You're going to guide that right wrist over towards the right, and again, this right shoulder is going to want to dip. So inhale, lengthen through your right rib cage to help that. And then, left hand can grab the right elbow, right forearm, something to help that right, right elbow come towards the midline. And then you walk the hand up the back. And then, you hang out for 30 to 60 seconds. Finally, we'll put all those pieces together for Gomukhasana arms. Inhale your left arm off to the left. Turn the thumb down. 
and swing that arm behind you. And then you walk the hand up the back like you did before. So like so, the elbow comes to the middle. Now on this one, you if you start with the lower arm, you can start with upper or lower, your choice. Here, the left hand can kind of help it. But then when you reach your right arm overhead, you're going to bend at the elbow and try to keep that elbow as close to the right ear as possible. And maybe the hands clasp. Maybe they don't. It doesn't matter whether they clasp, it matters what you're doing. So what you want to be doing, holding this between 30 and 60 seconds, you want to keep your spine in neutral, including your cervical spine, your neck, you know, that part that might get tight during work. So you don't want to add stress to it. Keep looking straight ahead and then release and the other side will be completely different so let it be completely different you bring the right arm off to the side so I'll show it from the back thumb points down wing and then you draw that elbow in towards the midline now if you started with the left arm I'll just show you first then you bend at the elbow you could Take the right hand, guide the elbow in, but eventually you have to let go so that you can do the right arm. Again, thumb down, up. Walking the hands together. You'll see that on this side my hands don't come together, and that's okay because I'm not dropping my head. I'm lifting my gaze and keeping my spine in neutral creating better posture here. Holding between 30 and 60 seconds and then releasing. Take a breath in and take a breath out. Breathing in and out through your nose, really important. And then this next one you can do at your table, your work surface that you have, I'll show you here. So I'm on my hands and knees, but you can be standing for this one. We're going to do wrist flexion and extension. First, wrist extension. Take your right fingers and spin them in towards you. Press down through the palm. And if you want this more intense, you simply take your hips back further behind you. Right? And you'll feel it. Just holding. You can hold this one. For about 30 seconds. If you want to do longer, that's fine. But then you go to the other side, spinning the fingers like so. And then once you've held that one, come back to center. You do both of them. Right? That'll feel different. And then you're clawing the floor with your fingers. You're not letting them just hang out. The palms, the base of the palms right there is pushing into the ground, and you're lifting up through the center of the palm. Super important. And then you can draw little circles here with the body, shifting the weight. So do 10 circles to the right, and then go to the left or the other way around, but you're doing 10 times each way. And you can always do this. If you do not have a table, then you do this. Left hand out in front of you. Right hand comes behind, interlace the fingers. And then as you gently, gently pull back with your right hand, you push out through the left palm. And then doing the other side, like that. Now for wrist flexion. If, again, you don't have a table, we'll do that after. If you have a table, you're going to do this gently. You get to choose how much weight you put on this, right? And you're going to turn the palm over, so come onto the back of the hand. Fingers face towards you. And then you're going to slowly go back behind you. Or if you want it less intense, shift your weight forward. Okay? And holding about 30 seconds, go to the other side. If you can hold longer, that's great. So I'll get even there so you can see there. Get out of the way so you can see what it looks like. 
like so. And then you have the option to intensify. Again, if this is too intense, right, you do both and you go, oh, then you just do one at a time again. Just do little circles. One direction and then 10 times and do the other one. Again, too intense. Just do one hand at a time the whole time. Now here's the option. No table. You would do this. It's a little complicated, but not really. Turn the back of your hands towards each other. There you go. Cross right hand over left. Interlace fingers. Now, the right hand is over the left, which means you're going to pull the right hand up towards the sky. And it is your left forearm that you are going to feel the stretch on. And then you hold that about 30 seconds and then go to the other side. Palms back to back, back of hands, back to back. Cross, left hand over right. And then you pull gently, gently, keep the arms straight. Pull the left fingers up towards the sky. You're going to get that stretch, that flexion on your right wrist. And then you're going to release. For this one, you're going to use your counter to strengthen your upper body. We'll be doing modified chaturanga or modified push up. Hands on your counter, not on your chair because your chair swivels around and that's not safe. And then step your feet back one at a time. And now you're in this modified plank position. I'm going to show you what could happen. You could just Kind of swing back and go, oh, yeah, isn't this easy? And so what you need to do is lift your heels. Yes, your heels will be off the ground. And then don't use a tablecloth because it slides. But number two, you're going to take your hips and put them in line with the rest of your body. They're going to, your butt sometimes wants to stick out because your abs don't want to work. So you could just simply hold this. For 30 to 60 seconds and have a great strengthening workout for your back or to add on for your tricep you're going to swing the elbows in towards each other really push the floor away with your hands as you bend at the elbows just bending 90 degrees the weight shifts forward when you do that and then push the floor away and straighten the arm Paying attention not to lift the head of the arm bones up into the ears and not to let them roll sh forward as you go. You're going to do 10 sets of these and you're going to do that three times. And you can take that, separate it out throughout your work day, doing 10 sets each time. Remember to let me know which of these poses was most beneficial to you in the comments below. And join me next time. I'm really excited because we have five yoga poses specifically for those of you who are writers or producers or writer producers. Anyone basically if you spend any time on your computer or on your phone, this one will be for you. I'll be showing you five of the yoga poses I personally do throughout my workday. Until next time, namaste.